The town of Obzor is located on the border of the Burgas and Varna regions. It is located in a gulf and extends north of Cape St. Athanas to the Emin mountain. The Obzor resort is located 65 km south of Varna and 6 km from Bayala, on the picturesque road that connects the southern and northern sea coasts. Burgas is 74 km away while Nesbar is 37 km. The town has a population of around 2000 people. The climate is temperate continental with an average temperature of 23 degrees Celsius in July. The resort's beach is approximately 10 km long and 20 to 60 meters broad. The southern beach and Iraqli are very lovely. The sun is golden in color and grainy. Obzor has a variety of entertainment options, including discos, clubs, restaurants, pubs and small family places to eat, as well as appealing facilities, slides and pools at the hotel complexes for the kids. There are numerous and diverse hotels in the area, including huge and sophisticated resorts as well as tiny family hotels. Obzor is one of the most old seaside towns. Numerous architectural and ceramic fragments, as well as the ruins of fortress walls, were discovered in the town's surroundings, attesting to the town's rich millennium old past. Navlahos was the name of the first Thracian village in the region. Heliopolis, sunny town, was built here by the Greeks in the 1st century BC. Later, the Byzantine Emperor's summer house was built on the same lands. To protect their commerce routes between Constantinople and the Danube, the Romans built a temple to Jupiter and a fortress here. The ruins of columns, capitals and sculptures from the Roman Jupiter Temple are now on display in Obzor's small park. The Bulgarians afterwards constructed a Kosiak fortress here, the ruins of which may be found about 3 km from Obzor. The ruins of castle foundations and fort towers may still be seen in the Kaleto area. The settlement Gyozeken, Abzor in Turkish, was founded on these grounds under the Ottoman dominion. The village's name was changed to Kozyagrad in 1934 and the town has been known as Abzor since 1946. While you're enjoying these awesome drone shots, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. We are posting videos like this twice a week and we would hate for you to miss it. Tourists in Absor can see the town's museum display. The historic and ethnographic collection covers more than 30 years and illustrates the history, way of life and culture of the old village's residents. The items are split into two categories. The first one is history and archaeology. It houses more than 800 exhibits dating from the 5th to 4th centuries BC. The second exhibit is an ethnographic show with around 300 items. It spans the centuries of the 18th and 20th century. Abzor maintains its reputation for magnificent beaches within 10 km stretch of golden sand that runs beside the town. The water is shallow and clean, which is ideal for kids, and there is a boardwalk dotted with cafes and hotels bars, so you won't have to walk far to find a place to dine. Abzor has the advantage of being small enough to get easily around. The town square, a paved piazza with restaurants, pubs and a big fountain is one place you'll quickly become familiar with. A wonderful small park lined with shade-giving palm trees lies between there and the beach. 
Abzer is also at a fantastic location for visit along the coast. It's only a 10 minutes drive north to the charming town of Bayala, which has several excellent harbourside restaurants. Irakli Beach, which also serves as a natural reserve, is a short distance south. At less than half an hour you may be in a suburb. The UNESCO list old towns cobblestone alleys are lined with charming squares and churches. Thank you.